here one. Okay, I did a quick short for a yay or nay video. It will be uploaded before this one. This is basically the breakdown of what I'm referring to. Right here is a collar for a Crossman. This would go between the dash and the steering wheel. Basically to hide all of this right here. As you can see, pull off my wheel. And there's the call, there's the adapter for the wheel. This is just a standard uh, steering um, rack for a Craftsman. This actually is running first gen steering. It is actually very tight. So this collar would normally go onto the steering wheel like that. And it just hides the ugliness. So it goes down like so. Obviously that collar is a bit too long. But the idea is to potentially put that back on there just to clean it up a bit, cut the collar down, uh, potentially angle cut it if I can get the angle perfect. I know in a previous video I mentioned I didn't think this bearing was greasable, but it is. So that's what I'm thinking about doing for the look for steering. I think I'm going to be changing out this wheel if I can find one. I don't have a center cap for this wheel here, and I wouldn't mind the uh, newer generation wheel. Unless I can find a center cap for this wheel, I will run it. Also, the gas cap, I ran into some issues. At the bottom, this is a vented cap, there's three holes. But those three holes went straight into the tank. There was no baffles, nothing there to protect the water from getting into the gas. So I glued the original cap to a lawnmower cap. It is still vented through that hole right there. And it works perfectly fine. So yeah, there we go. Gas cap fix and steering wheel debacle. Figure out what I'm going to do with that. So there we go. I will talk to them later. Please keep redneck like always and uh, please subscribe and comment.